South Carolina Gamecocks and Clemson Tigers. This is the Battle of the Palmetto State. It has been played since 1896 when South Carolina defeated Clemson 12-6. They play for the Hardys Trophy. Clemson leads this series 59-36 with four ties. And out of all those games, there have been 28 shutouts in the series. 20 for Clemson, 8 for South Carolina. The last shutout coming in 1989 when Clemson won 45 to nothing. The largest margin of victory in this series was in 1900 when Clemson beat South Carolina 51 to 0. The Tigers have the longest win streak in this series, winning seven games in a row from 1934 to 1940. They also have the only national championship in South Carolina, coming in 1981 when they defeated Nebraska 22-15 in the Orange Bowl. All of these stats are of course leading up to the 2002 matchup, which Clemson won that game 27-20 in Death Valley. Let's see how close we get to that final score. And if you have not requested a rivalry game for this series, please do so. I only have two games left. Oklahoma versus Nebraska and West Virginia versus Pittsburgh. So if you have not requested one, or if you have and want to see some more, please comment down below and let me know what you want to see. And I will try to bring that to you. But I'm going to let you guys take a look at the rest of these rosters. And I will see you down on the field after Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet give their thoughts on the ball game. here in Columbia, South Carolina. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Clemson Tigers and the Gamecocks of South Carolina. And here come the Gamecocks. It's the Battle of the Palmetto State. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Really excited you could join us today for this rivalry that used to be Big Thursday. The Gamecocks are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. You know, I'm going to have to agree with that for one big reason. South Carolina has one of their best players lining up in their backfield. Lee, expect a huge game from him running the football and maybe even catching a few passes. He's a tremendous athlete, and they'll use him as much as they can. Let me tell you why I agree with you. South Carolina is going to run through, around, and over this defense, Kirk. I'm interested in seeing how many rushing yards are going to roll up in this one. Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game. So let's get down to the field where they're waiting for the coin toss. So all the experts are picking South Carolina to run away with a victory in this ball game as Dante Robinson is returning the opening kickoff up to the 20-yard line, breaks a tackle, and gets taken down at about the 27-yard line. And in at quarterback for the Gamecocks is Corey Jenkins, and he's going to throw it on the first play going deep right side, and that is Chavez Donnings on the catch. Nice corner route. Third and nine, Jenkins in the backfield looking to throw it here all day, scrambling right side, pulls up and throws it, and that is Chavez Donnings once again picking up a first down. Nice job by Jenkins to stay mobile. He's going to look to throw it again here. Pump fakes, and he goes in the end zone, and that is caught by Matthew Thomas for six. The Gamecocks are on the board early on in this ballgame. 
Three big pass plays for them. And Clemson's secondary is looking weak. Willie Simmons in at quarterback for Clemson, and he throws it into triple coverage on the first play, almost intercepted. Third and eight, Simmons in the shotgun. Play action here, scrambling right side, throws it up to Hamilton, and he is in the open field all alone. He is gone. Derek Hamilton to the house for the Clemson Tigers. They knot this game all up at seven apiece. What a huge play. The safety came over, tried to deflect the ball away, and misjudged it. Missed by just a hair. And the game is now tied up. Jenkins looking to throw over the middle. Chavez Donnings once again picking up nine yards. He's got three catches already in this ball game. Second and two. Anthony Pinnock up the middle past the 40, down to the 48-yard line. What a huge run by the fullback. Jenkins, quarterback draw, left side, nobody's there. He's got the first down and more, diving forward inside the 40-yard line of Clemson. Huge run by the quarterback. Jenkins in the shotgun. Gonzi Gray blocks a right end over there, and he's going to go deep inside the 10 to Troy Williamson. Freshman phenom, wide receiver. Huge catch, another nice corner out by this receiving core. Second and goal. Jenkins looking to throw. Chavez Donnings wide open over the middle. Touchdown Gamecocks. 14-7 is the score now. Nine seconds to go here in the first. Simmons goes play action. He's got a man wide open, and that is Derek Hamilton once again. Huge pickup, and Simmons is torching the right side of the field. 119 yards already. Now into the second quarter. Simmons looking to throw it, and he's chucking it up. And that is almost intercepted off the drop. He threw that in a quadruple coverage. That was a rainbow pass. Third and 10. On the sideline is Derek Hamilton. They say it is incomplete. Clemson will have to settle for a field goal attempt here. And Hunt kicks it up. And it is through the uprights. The score is now 14-10. to 10. Gamecock still on top. Second and 10 for Jenkins. He pump fakes. And he's going deep over the middle, and it is caught by Troy Williamson at the 35-yard line. Jenkins has 99 yards passing over the middle of the field. Most of that coming to Chavez Donnings. 7 of 10 today. Anthony Pinnock gets a carry up the middle. Jukes, and he picks up six more yards. Fullback carrying the ball for 40 yards so far in this ballgame. Third and four. Jenkins looking to throw it again. Pump fakes, throws it to the end zone, and it is caught by Matthew Thomas. 21-10 to 10 is the score. Gamecocks on top by 11 points, and their pass game is looking lethal right now. Not a lot Clemson can do to stop it. Here's Simmons trying to get his pass game going as well, and Hamilton has another catch. He has all three of the catches for the Tigers. Second and five. Simmons dropping back, pump fakes, all day to throw, wide open over the middle is Aries Curry, huge pickup over the middle of the field, another first down for the Tigers, that's their third of the day, Simmons over 150 passing yards with a touchdown, he goes play action here, and he throws it right side, another corner out in this game, Aries Curry now inside the red zone for the Tigers, three consecutive completions for Simmons, and that is Bernard Rambert getting a carry, Still going, still up, picking up nine yards. Not sure how he stayed on his feet for that long. Second and one. Simmons looking to throw, and he is sacked back at the 15-yard line. That is Lemon, his first sack of the ball game. Under a minute to go, third and five. Simmons looking to throw it, pressured, scrambling left side. He's going to pick up the first down and more, and he's going to fall into the end zone for six. 21-17 is now the score. Huge run by the quarterback. 30 seconds to go in the half. Jenkins scrambling right side. He's got Hart Turner, the tight end, wide open down to the 43-yard line. Huge pickup. Jenkins has yet to test the left side of the secondary, and he hasn't really needed to as he's got 218 yards passing and three touchdowns. 25 seconds left. Jenkins looking to throw. He scrambles up the middle instead, and he picks up seven yards. And the Gamecocks will call a timeout. Jenkins in the shotgun again here, looking to throw. Pressure, he's got a man wide open, and he overthrows him by a yard or two. And that would have put him up big time. Third and three. Jenkins pressured and sacked, and he put it on the turf. The Gamecocks do recover with eight seconds remaining. 
And they're just going to throw it up here on 4th and 13. Over the middle to Adkison, and he does not get the first down. But that does leave Clemson with only three seconds left, and they do nothing with it. That is halftime, 21-17. to 17. Both passing games looking pretty lethal so far as Eric Meekin is going to return a kickoff from the one-yard line. And he's going up the middle, and he gets taken down at about the 30-yard line. Nice return. Simmons looking to throw it all day. Launches it deep, and that is caught by Aries Curry, and he puts it on the turf. And Faison recovers it, returns it up to the 45-yard line. Huge mistake for Clemson. They were looking to take the lead here. Anthony Pinnock gets another carry, and he gets seven yards up the middle. He has 32 yards on three carries. Jenkins scrambling right side. One defender in front of him jukes him out of his shoes. Up past the 35-yard line, down to the 34. Another nice run for Corey Jenkins. Under center, looking to throw it. Still looking to throw, and he's finally sacked. That was a coverage sack. He was waiting very patiently for a receiver to get open, and nobody did. Finally taken down. Third and 13. Jenkins is stuffed. They wanted to set up an option play, and it went nowhere. Gamecocks now facing a fourth and 13. They will go for it. Play action. And Jenkins throws it up, and Hart Turner brings it down at the 15-yard line. First down, South Carolina. Jenkins still torching the middle and the right side of the secondary. And he's scrambling up the middle here. Slides down to protect himself. Picks up nine more yards on the ground. And he'll hand it off to Gonzi Gray here. And he gets enough for the first down. First and goal. We haven't seen a lot of Gonzi Gray in this ball game. Corey Jenkins has got the bulk of the carries. And he gets another one here. Dragging a defender into the end zone. Gamecocks now on top 28-17. With about a minute and 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Willie Simmons looking to lead a comeback. He goes play action, scrambling for his life, staying up. Great awareness, and he finds Crosby, who does not make the catch. He got decked. Third and ten. Simmons looking to throw it. Nobody's getting open. He's going to scramble left side, and he's going to take off. Somebody got open at the last second, but Simmons picked it up himself. Down to the 30-yard line. First and 10. Simmons is sacked by the left end. Doesn't look like anybody blocked him on that play. Second and 14. Simmons going over the middle. And that is Jackie Robinson, the fourth string receiver. Getting the catch over the middle. That'll end the third quarter. 28 to 17 is the score. Simmons scrambling right side. Open space in front of him. Past the 50. Juking, diving forward. Inside the 45-yard line of South Carolina. Simmons looking to throw it all day. Offensive line doing a great job. Simmons is going to take off again here. And he needed one more block to spring him free for about 20 extra yards. He did not get it. He got taken down just shy of the first down. This is an eight-play, 53-yard drive. And it has taken over two minutes. We are now in the fourth quarter as Chad Jasmine just gets enough to pick up the first down. Simmons was hurt. Charlie Whitehurst now in the game, and he wants it all. The first play, and he should have had it. The ball was dropped in the end zone. Second and 10, less than three minutes to go. Whitehurst going right side, caught by Aries Curry, and he's in the end zone. Rashad Faison, number 11, getting beat once again. He goes for the deflection. He is just too far away, does not get a hand on it. And Curry walks into the end zone for six. What a throw by Charlie Whitehurst. And they're going to go for two here. Whitehurst looking to throw it. Scrambling right side. He's going to take off and walk into the end zone. 28-25 to 25 is now the score. That was an 87-yard drive. And here is Corey Jenkins leading his team. Optioning out left side. Nice spin move. But there is a flag. Offsides. That will give him a free first down. First and 10. Pinnock, another carry up the middle, trucks a linebacker, picks up seven or eight. He's now got 40 yards on four carries, averaging 10 yards per carry. Second and two, two minutes to go. Jenkins looking to throw it, and he wants it all here. Down inside the 20, and it's deflected away. He wanted Troy Williamson. Third and two, Pinnock does not get it. Clemson denies him the first down, and they punt the ball away. Simmons will get another shot here. 
with 142 to go, and that was a dangerous throw off the receiver's hand. Simmons, 7 of 16, 212 yards. He's looking for a big play here. Scrambling left side, evading a couple defenders, and he finally just runs out of bounds after four yards. Lucky enough to get anything out of that play. Third and seven. Simmons looking to throw it again. Scrambling right side. And he's going to take off himself. Pick up the first down. Jukes a man out. Gets past the 40. Down to the 42 and a half yard line. He's almost got 300 total yards on the day. He's going to throw it again here. Pump fake. Scrambles. And he's going to take off yet again. And he does not juke the man out that time. Down to the 44 yard line. Closing in on 100 yards on the ground. Under center. Simmons launches it deep inside the 15, and it's caught and dropped by Aries Curry. What a huge drop, and Simmons knows it. Would have been a huge play for the Tigers. Second and 10, a minute and two seconds to go. Simmons has Hamilton wide open. Derek Hamilton in the end zone yet again today. I'm not sure what happened with the coverage. We will take another look at it. But he was wide open. Nobody within 20 yards. And I believe it was Rashad Faison who blew the coverage assignment once again. See, there was nothing special here on the replay. Nice block right there. The running back got destroyed. But the corner was nowhere to be found or the safety. Easy touchdown for the Tigers. Clemson on to kick it off. DeAndre Eland at his, his eight-yard line. He's going to return this one up the middle, following blockers. Cuts it out left side in the open field, past midfield. The 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, all the way down to the 11-yard line. What a huge return for the Gamecocks. My goodness gracious, 46 seconds to go here in this ball game, And Elon comes up clutch for his team. Gamecocks down 32 to 28 at the moment. And they are in great scoring position. Corey Jenkins in the shotgun. Second and nine, 30 seconds to go. And he is sacked for a loss of five. That is linebacker John Leake's second sack of the ball game. Tigers doing a nice job pressuring Jenkins today. Third and 13. Looking to throw it. Scrambling right side. Nobody's open. He's going to take off. Jukes. And he is inside the five-yard line making this fourth down attempt. Very manageable. He's got 56 yards on 12 carries. Fourth and three, and he's going to walk into the end zone with 16 seconds on the clock. Huge play for South Carolina. Can they hold on, though? Can they win it? Can they be the first team in this series to win the ballgame at home? Clemson still has time. Here's the kickoff. Going towards the sideline. It's going to bounce from the five-yard line and bounce into the end zone. A lucky bounce there for South Carolina. Simmons still has time, and he's got a gun. There he launches it up to the 35-yard line, deflected away. Still 10 seconds to go. Simmons looking to throw it. Scrambles up the middle. He's got the first down and more, 15 yards, and he puts it on the turf. And Ricardo Hurley scoops it up, and that is going to be the ball game. Huge play right there. Simmons lost the ball at the end of it. And South Carolina is going to down the ball here and end this game. Tough break for Simmons. That was a huge play. He got a lot of yards out of it and dove down with enough time to stop the clock. But he just let go of the ball. South Carolina is the first team in this series to win at home. Corey Jenkins, player of the game. Huge performance by the Gamecocks. A very exciting fourth quarter. 416 yards of offense for Clemson. 350 for South Carolina. A lot of passing yards today. Both teams are sacked twice. Clemson was 6 of 7 on third downs. No punts for Clemson. 1 for South Carolina. Corey Jenkins, 11 of 18. 247 yards. 3 touchdowns. No picks. A long of 40. He also led his team with 58 yards rushing. Anthony Andrew Pinnock, excuse me. I believe I was saying Anthony the entire game. <laughs> Chavez Donnings, four catches, 60 yards. He didn't do a whole lot after that second quarter. Troy Williamson, 69 yards. Matthew Thomas had two touchdowns. Dennis Quinn with a sack. Jermaine Lemon with another sack for South Carolina. A bunch of pass deflections. DeAndre Elon forced a fumble. 
Ricardo Hurley recovered it. And Rashad Faison also had a fumble recovery. DeAndre Elon had that huge kick return to set up the go-ahead touchdown run by Corey Jenkins. Charlie Whitehurst, one of two, 33 yards and a touchdown. Willie Simmons threw for 256 and two touchdowns. Sacked twice, a long of 78. Simmons also had 115 on the ground. He's the first player in the series to run for over 100 yards. Derek Hamilton, 168, two touchdowns. Aries Curry, 112 yards, one touchdown. Leroy Hill led the team in tackles. Four tackles for a loss. Two sacks for John Leak, junior middle linebacker. Junior outside linebacker, excuse me. Aaron Hunt, one for one, along with 50 today on field goals. And Clemson puts up 15 points in the fourth quarter, but it was not enough to come back and defeat the South Carolina Gamecocks. It was definitely a classic in this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Our next rivalry game will be Oklahoma and Nebraska. That will be in Nebraska in the Sea of Red. And Oklahoma leads that series 40-37 to currently. This will be the 81st meeting in this series, and it's going to be a good one. We've got Jason White at quarterback for Oklahoma. A lot of talent on Nebraska. A lot of names that aren't really familiar, but Nebraska always had great college football teams. Oklahoma, of course, has Quentin Griffin at running back as well. That game I will try to get out next week, but if it is not out next week, it will be out the following week. So just remember to request some rivalry games if you have not, or if you want to see some more, let me know in the comments section below. But I will see you guys Friday or Saturday with our Mississippi State Bulldogs series taking on Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Take it easy, guys.